Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm going to do another two for video. Put this up Wednesday night. Uh, along with this food review, I'm going to review uh, the Simpsons from Sunday, which was the Thanksgiving of, of horror. The, the first ever Thanksgiving horror thing. You know, I want to do that after this one. Because I was going to do a whole thing about the Simpsons stuff, uh, my discovery of the Simpsons, but eh, I don't feel like doing it. But I'm going to do a review of that. Because Thanksgiving. Uh, the first I'm going to review in this. Now, I got this at uh, Bleeding Hickenau Grocery Store. This is Walnut Creek Foods Cheese Curls. Crunchy Cheese Curls. Oh, dollar ninety nine for this giant thing. And Walnut Creek is like the... One of the Amish brands that they sell. Yeah, I remember we used to go to a place called Walnut Creek Access. Then it said Walnut Creek, Ohio. But Walnut Creek Access in Erie to do fishing. Like a long, long time ago. You know, and let's try open up, try it out. Try cheese. It'll just be like regular um, Cheetos. I gotta be really careful. Well, usually when they have like the really cellophane type thing, they tear real easy. But I just be real careful when I eat these. I mean, there's a lot in here though. Mmm, they're really good. Mmm, it's Quite good. Um, I don't think they're quite as good as uh, Cheetos. I'm going to Cheetos, though. Quite a close. They are very good. 11 ounce for $1.99. You can't beat that at all. Another Walnut Creek Access. Wild Walnut Creek Crunchy Cheat Girls. 9 out of 10. And I want to talk about, um, a Simpsons Thanksgiving horror. I heard about this last Sunday. And they said they're going to do their very first, you know, they always have the Treehouse of Horror for Halloween, which they all are, all, always are a favorite of mine. And they're going to do their first Thanksgiving one. Um, one thing about the Simpsons, a lot of people... Even when I was touting and seeing how bad Bless the Hearts were, people going on a, on a, oh, on a rant about The Simpsons, saying The Simpsons should have been canceled a long time ago. They would say, well, I still think The Simpsons are brilliant. My, I talked to my friend John, and he was saying, because I remember watching The Simpsons, with Jeremy on AFN, they had uh, back, uh, they had a Tracy Allman show, and they had like these little, Snippets of the substance. I didn't see. I didn't per, I'm trying to see all of them. I thought they were really funny. Just the way. I had the same feeling about them. The way. Uh, the same feeling I had about Mr. Bill on Saturday Night Live a long time ago. And. Uh, I saw some a little bit in Germany. Uh, they didn't really have the film that much. Uh, they, I remember Working Girl. Had a, a short film of the Simpsons. And then they had. Uh, one of the episodes of the show. Where Lisa went to an advanced school. Or something like that. That's the only episode I remember. And then people are saying, why are these ducks? Why are these ducks? What the hell is this? I mean, they're like, they're really cynical people for younger kids that... I was one of the kids on the 18 years said, this ain't funny, this ain't funny. I remember getting Monty Python and then that classic Terry Gillen cartoon and the guy was like, oh, I think this is funny if I was three years old. But I mean, and I went home and I found that Fox 66 was carrying The Simpsons. So I started watching it on a regular basis, and I loved it. I still love it now. They had some great episodes with, uh, oh, one guy doing a voice, Michael Rappaport, as my, Michael Wegman. That was a great episode. They had some really, really good episodes. When I started to have a Thanksgiving horror thing, I said, boy, that sounds cool. I almost forgot about it. And they said, viewer discretion advised TV 14. I kind of meant it. I don't know if some parents will probably be mad about the violence in this episode. At least the first one in the third story. Uh, the first story was called uh, a Gobblepto, a, a, like a spoof on Apocalypto, the Mel Gibson movie. Super violent about the chicken, uh, the turkeys being captured and killed for the people. I mean, you know, in the Simpsons family. I loved it. I thought it was funny. 
but it's, it's very it's actually really violent for a cartoon very violent a lot of turkeys get slaughtered and stuff like that pretty uh, some of them kind of gruesomely I mean by it's all meant and fun but I they said any March said uh, she always comes out and says yeah hide your kids eyes and so try to protect themselves some parents might be mad about it. I don't know uh, I loved it it was really funny I I I mean, there's lots of humor in it, too. They had a second one, uh, I can't remember the title of it, where it was like a virtual reality Marge that was hired by, that was made by Homer, and he sent DNA to this one company to make a virtual reality Marge and like a Alexa thing to help make Thanksgiving dinner. And that was a good one. That wasn't that violent. That wasn't really violent at all. Uh, then the next one was really bizarre about uh, Thanksgiving, and I didn't know, I thought I missed the title, and they showed the title at the very end about them trying to replicate uh, cranberry sauce. That reminds me of that globby thing that was in that movie uh, Life or whatever it was that with Ryan Reynolds when he were in outer space. It kind of reminded me of that. But it was like this globby, they recreated that and, they, and it was cranberry sauce that lived on bones of people and they showed like sucking the bones out of people. And so it was very kind of disturbing in its way but very funny. I thought it was really brilliant. I loved it. Uh... And uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. And then the ending credits are probably the most disturbing. It wasn't meant to be disturbing at all. They show footage from the Macy's Day Parade of, and they had like eerie music, right? Not eerie PA, but eerie creepy music. And they showed them like pulling the Bart Simpson balloon with him like sitting on the skateboard. Now, that was a great way to end it. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I give it a 10 out of 10. I still think the Simpsons are viable. I still love the Simpsons. I still think The Simpsons are smart and funny. When Watch Mojo had a thing saying, like, the funny shows on TV, they did not mention The Simpsons. Mention Bob's Burgers, they didn't mention The Simpsons, though. I think sometimes Family Guy can be a little tired, but I still like Family Guy, too. But I really still like The Simpsons. As much as The Simpsons, crap The Simpsons have been getting, people said it should have been ended a long time ago. I still think it's brilliant. I get a full on 10 out of 10 for Thanksgiving, for Simpsons Thanksgiving of Horrors. So, I hope you like this food review and uh, TV show review. I'll probably put this up Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving. I saw it Sunday, though, but, you know, I don't want to put it up now because I got the Sabaro video. I've never done a Sabaro video before. You know, let's see how that does. So, I hope you like this food review and uh, TV show review. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. Seven, four, eight, bed.